Now officially, the Democratic nominee for president, Vice President Kamala Harris, is set to choose her running mate in the coming days. Meanwhile, former President Trump is on the campaign trail in Georgia this weekend, along with his running mate. The latest polling average from 538 shows a very tight race for the White House. Here's ABC's Michelle Franzen with the latest. Donald Trump speaking to a crowd of supporters at a campaign rally in Georgia on Saturday, a battleground state decided by fewer than 12,000 votes in 2020. 94 days from now, we're going to win the great state of Georgia in an epic landslide. The former president joined by his running mate, J.D. Vance, who took aim at the vice president. She's asking us for a promotion, and I think it's time to say to Kamala Harris, you're fired. Just one day after securing enough votes to become the Democratic presidential nominee, sources tell ABC News Vice President Kamala Harris is busy meeting with potential running mates, including popular first-term Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro, a former prosecutor, Arizona Senator and retired astronaut Mark Kelly, Minnesota Governor Tim Waltz, and Kentucky Governor Andy Beshear, a rare Democrat leading a red state. With just over three months until the election, ABC's 538 polling average shows a very tight race. Harris up a point and a half over Donald Trump nationally, shrinking the margins he had over President Biden prior to his dropping out in the crucial swing states. Harris now with a slight edge over Trump in Michigan, Wisconsin, and Pennsylvania. Trump says he has accepted an invitation to debate Harris on Fox News on September 4th. Harris has not accepted the Fox invitation. Trump and President Biden had both accepted an ABC News invitation to debate on September 10th. Now that Biden has left the race, Harris said she would keep that commitment to the ABC debate. Trump has falsely claimed the ABC debate is terminated, but the ABC invitation to both remains. The Harris campaign says Trump is running scared and backing out of that debate. Harris says she'll be there on September 10th and hopes to see Trump there, too. Now we're doing one with Fox. If she shows up, I don't think she's going to show up. Chuck Sievertson, ABC News, New York.